Hey guys, welcome back to Autocrat Primer. We love us some what? Toys. And what do we have today? We have a Tyranids High Fleet Leviathan. Okay, you want to show them what? get with Flesh Borer. All right, let's take a look at and this. It says box. it's one eighteenth scale. That means usually these things are pretty big. Yes. All right. You got pretty pictures on the back. And she's going to hold it there, and you can pause and read all that that you want. But that's all obligatory artwork. All and right. It's plain. This is Warhammer 40k. Yep. Thousand on the end. Um, and inside. Well, let me show you. Yeah, let's show you what's inside. Yeah, that's a good so idea. It came really nicely packaged. I like the packaging. And it comes as a clamshell packaging. And so. And we're not. Oh, we're gonna open it up. No, because we'll look now, the reason these why. These are two little tongues that actually go into the tear in its mouth. Um, but they don't tend to stay in very good. And we have cats, and so yep. we were really afraid that <laughs> someone like this one. Yep. <laughs> that's Nesme. Uh, was gonna just just play with it and yank it on out. So they're in there. Or but it would fall out and we would lose it. Because it did it. fall out several times. Yeah, and we found it. Yeah. And so Let's um, take a look at the figure. I really like um, the way it came out. It's really nice. I like that it's not glossy. It's a matte figure. It's a very deep brown purple is the coloring. Um, and then the bone color with some of the same shading is in it. And it looks really good. It looks a lot like how you would paint a Tyranid. We're painting ours a little differently if you're following our painting history on how we're doing things. Um, but our, it's a, we don't move the, the arms do move, but we don't move them around too much. They feel like they're going to pop out. And one thing I want to say real quick, talking about the way they're painted, if you're wanting something that you can set up and paint from, this is right up the alley. This is something you can get all the colors and everything. If, uh, yeah. And as you can see, don't move it. As you can see, the yellow in the eyes, the detail in the arms, the tail. I did that so you can see the teeth. I, I got them, baby girl. Oh, okay. That's why I, I didn't know if you, you could see them. You take it out of uh, a close up range. So, with this, you can see the details is all in there. And what were you saying about the articulation? Well, the articulation, they do move pretty well, but if you move them too much, it does feel like they're going to pop out. Or break, um, because it is a very soft plastic. But as you know, this is a display piece, so that makes sense. You can move his little jaw. I kept it open because I like it open. But it does close, and it does open, and his head does wiggle. They can't see it. Your fingers oh, are covering let me do this. <laughs> his mouth closes, and he opens, and it'll stay right where you want it. So you want it wide open, or you want a little bit, it'll do all that. Um, and that's good for when you put the tongue in place. And you get all this motion in it. Mm -hmm. I mean... It's very, lot. it's very now the bendable. Yeah, now the bulge up socket uh, is right down here inside the mouth. You have where you would put the tongue. And with that, which is cute, and that's amazing, like, hey, <laughs> pay me attention. But uh, it comes with a clear display, so you can actually have it where it holds up. Yeah. And uh, this and is... You can put it in either foot. There's one peg, but you can put it in this one or you can put it in the other one. Yeah, and this is Nikki's first time doing a review like this. Mm -hmm. And we thought this would be easy. So please check out. She's like, please pet me. Oh, baby. I'll so pet you just a second. Where can they find this? Uh, we got this through Gun Damn It, which is a store that has a lot of these toys. This uh, particular toy is made by Joy Toy. Mm -hmm. um, but they've been really good. Ship, the, the prices are really good. Um, normally, Spot for on. something like this, I would think we would pay 50 bucks. But I think this was like. Was it this one 20? 27. 27 dollars. It's really nice too. Yeah. And I like the plastic that it's made out of. Yeah. Uh, it looks really good with, we bought some other Joy toys. We bought um, a Salamander and a um, Ultramarine. Yep. Um, and we bought, there was one of the Chaos. A Chaos one too. Um, and I like, I don't know, I really like the Tyranids. Those are really become my favorite. And I've been painting those a lot more too. So I'm familiar with the intricacies and the parts surrounding it and what it's made of and where things are located. I do think it's funny they got a, his bottom part looks like bones and rib cages. 
But if you look carefully, this takes away the PG-13. Looks like he has a spiky... Apparatus. Yeah. But there you go. Uh, if you like... Uh, Figures like this, um, check I would them out. suggest this because they're very customer... Um, and, and the shipping is great. Yeah. And customer everything. service is really good too. Yeah. So check them out. Let us know what you think. And in the description, I have a link to uh, their website, website so you can get yours today. As always, like my grandpa said, hold on to something from your youth. You never grow old. Look to the stars. Grab one for yourself. Bye, guys. Bye.